Hey guys, it's been a while since I uploaded a video and I wanted to show you what I've been working on for the past couple of months. It's an S500 quadcopter drone that I recently built and a lot has happened since when I've been building it. A lot of changes, a lot of um, uh, modifications and learning new things. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all what I did but not necessarily the programming aspect because there's a lot of videos out there when it comes to the programming of your drone so i'm just going to be showing you the build process and things that i do to make it fly even better so make sure you watch this video to the end and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe let's begin these are all the components that i use for my s500 drone with an autopilot flight controller with gps so the first thing that I did was to install the quadcopter firmware into the flight controller, the quadcopter frame, quadcopter frame class, and I did all the necessary calibration to get the flight controller running for, for the quadcopter. So after finished installing the firmware, I started doing the accelerometer calibration, followed by the compass calibration, which took a while to get. So then I did the radio calibration too as well after finishing the compass calibration to ensure everything is working fine. So these are the basic things you need to do before setting up your quadcopter. As part of the kit, the ESC is a Simon series ESC which I eventually developed some issue with later.
I don't tire. Those beeping sound you heard are one of the problems I faced when I was using this E Maximum series ESC. I tried every necessary thing to make it work. I tried calibration, I tried the programming. I just seem to get confused every time the thing is making those beep sounds. So I was unable to configure it to work with my APM player controller. So I did a lot of research and I came across people saying that you need to you remove these two components, a capacitor and a resistor from the ESC board that is going to work. So I did that and all the ESC were working fine. So however, I was experiencing another problem with the compass. Probably the compass is not reading well, or the flight controller is not reading my compass very well. It wants to yaw on one axis as soon as I take off. So I always try to use my rudder stick to correct it while I'm trying to fly it. So I wasn't able to fix that too, because on the mission planner, the compass was not indicating a consistent um, heading it was constantly jumping from north to north east to north south all over around it was not consistent on one heading so i was thought i was thinking it was the, probably the esc were not synchronizing very well until i tried another flight controller which i'm going to see in the next clip this is me still trying to fly the drone with the APM board, presence on board, and with the constant yaw spinning that I'm trying to correct at the same time as, as I'm flying it. So I was just trying to see if I can figure out what the problem is. And at some point, I just had to leave the drone alone and focus on some other projects. And this was around March of this year. So I was thinking it was probably the ESC was still not working very well. So I decided to order a couple of more ESCs to use. However, when this ESC eventually arrived, I I just decided to use a better flight controller instead, which would be Pixoc. So when my ESC finally arrived, I decided to remove the one that was presently there that I thought was the issue that was causing the constant yaw spinning while I was trying to fly it. However, it turns out that those ESC were pretty fine after removing those two components that I removed to make it work with the APM flight controller. It seems like my flight controller and the compass module were not synchronizing pretty well at all. That is one of the reasons. So I decided to remove all the ESC, as you can see. So guys, I have the new ESC soldered on to the um, body here, which is part of the frame. And I also have this um, GST connector too as well for my U-back, an external U-back. Since this ESC doesn't come with its own U-back, so we'll be using that to power the, um, the input of the APM board. So I'm going to go ahead now and couple up everything back together and we'll give it a test. I changed the flight controller to a pixel flight controller and I also changed the propeller to as well. These are much more easier to mount on the motors than the other one. Too much, careful.
So after the drone eventually flies very well and I did some auto tuning, I decided to use QGAN control software to run some automation by drawing some small small waypoints. I'll be covering this in the next video, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.